friends welcome back to sarit's art room so today we came back with the part 2 of garden decor so again today we are making complete makeover of one of our garden wall so let's go ahead and enjoy today's activity come with me friends in last video we have seen a theme with the colorful owls and colorful birds all around it in today's video we are seeing a composed and calm thing it will give a look like a zen garden i always try to use whatever material we are having at home so you don't have to buy anything from outside so we need basic material jute rope acrylic colors oil paint and uh, cardboard paper and lot many colorful pots and plants we have started outlining a meditating woman drawing on a wall with a blackboard chalk and then painted in a black completely. Next step is making DIY lotus for which we have used cardboard boxes and cut lotus shape using a sharp cutter. On top of that I have applied fevicol and plaster of Paris mixture. Let it dry completely then paint it with a black oil paint from front as well as back. Right now I haven't painted from the back side. Now let's add charm to this particular art piece. I am sticking fairy light at back of this lotus completely using cello tape and then we will stick this lotus below our meditating woman on a wall. If you don't have any plug point near your wall then you can use battery operated fairy light which will be easily available on Amazon. And our centerpiece for today's wall is ready. Here is one more beautiful DIY wall hanging idea for you all. This is made best out of vest. I have used plastic bottles, cold drink tins as well as condensed milk metal tins for this uh, DIY. I will post separate video of this DIY wall hanging and see how it completely gets transformed from the old plastic bottle to beautiful art piece here. You can use your own creation and make any formation using this bottles and tins. Next step is adding few planters around our art piece as it is a garden decor. Plants are musts. This one is cute small DIY planter made using coconut shell. I used jute rope to hang it on the wall. Next one is my favorite bamboo planter that I am adding along with the DIY uh, planter hanger made uh, which I have already uh, posted video. You can see link in the description box. Let's make alignment of everything so both planters and hanger will look parallel to each other. I have already posted many videos regarding home and garden decor using old toys. So here is one more. Right now our DIY wall hanger is not complete. We'll add few small succulent plants or planters as well as few used old toys and then it will give a complete look. Friends, nowadays we get lot many tiny toys along with chocolates. So you can keep those old toys and you can use those toys in your zen garden or mini garden as well as in our wall decor. So let's see, I have collected lot many toys like those. Also some other small toys I am using along with. And you can see how relaxing a cutie tiny frog is feeling in our garden. So I have added many dolls and animals in my wall hanger. Also I kept a metal tin empty to keep candle inside. So this is very important. Keep it in mind if you want to add candles, add one or two metal tins in the uh, formation. So you can use it for the candle. So our DIY wall hanger is completed. Just we have to add dia at the end or anytime whenever you want to add it. Next is bottom side. Now let me think what we can add at the bottom side of our wall to make it complete. And here is an idea. I am adding small zen garden mat at home at the bottom of our art piece. So we need a basic material whatever we have at home any statue any uh, hanging plants colorful stones and little bit of soil that's it. 
next arrange beautiful plants around it so uh, here i am using a base as a big pot or planter in which i generally keep all fertilizers pesticides used for my balcony and i am covering that with the plate we used for uh, collecting dripping water from the planter try to use plants with the different heights and different pot size so collectively it will give a good look so friends we are almost done it's already dark outside and i'm very much eager to see how it looks after adding lights to our art piece so let's go ahead and see the final look wow doesn't it look soothing and amazing in our garden now i can see it's totally transformed into a peaceful meditating zen garden and now i can enjoy hot cup of tea along with my kid and family and this zen garden anytime without going outside and we don't have to worry about this lockdown and all pandemic situation so friends you must try this ideas at your home and don't forget to post pics of your garden into comment box and don't forget to like share subscribe this channel keep watching keep visiting and keep on getting new new ideas of your home and garden decor coming back soon with part 3 of garden decor till that time bye bye